Welcome once again, ladies and boys. It's another episode of The Undercard Season 2. This is, I believe, Episode 7, Monsters Clash. And you may be asking yourself, Underdog, why is it called Monsters Clash? Well, I guess you'll have to wait to see what the main event is. But we got a pretty stacked card. And some interesting matches ahead of us. We've got uh, Humberto Carrillo and Sin Cara, the Lucha Latinos, versus Ia Shirai and Taya Valkyrie working together. That's our tag team match to open the day. Then we've got Adam Page back from injury. The Hangman has returned, finally. He was out for almost a month with a critical neck injury after receiving an axe kick from Alicia Fox. But he will be facing Loki in singles action in our second match. Then, of course, we have broken, woken, somewhat unkillable Matt Hardy versus the blue man himself, Stephen Richards. Then we've got John Moxley, the one-eyed bandit, versus the guitar-playing Elias. Then we've got Team Expose versus Velveteen Dream and Funaki, who really need a win this week. And then we've got Shayna Baszler. That's right. Shayna Baszler versus Neville in a tournament match or a tournament week rematch, I guess you could say. Then we've got HBK, Shawn Michaels versus Orange Cassidy. And in our main event, this is why it's called Monsters Clash. We've got another undercard heavyweight championship match between Earthquake, who is ranked as the number one contender because he defeated Goldberg last week. Uh, he'll be facing... The largest man in the world, Andre the Giant. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the undercard. Hello, Nimble. I hope you uh, don't mind me yelling in your ear for the next hour, because this is my weekly wrestling show. If you want to come back for a very relaxed stream later today, I will be streaming more Two Point Hospital, which is the most addictive thing I've ever played in my life. I couldn't stop playing it. Like, I ended my stream, and I booted my PS4 back up and started playing it again. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't. It's too addictive. All right. Anyway, I have to do this because I've only got one hour, and then I have to go shopping. You like it when I'm hyper? It's kind of my gig, yo. That's kind of how I am. Actually, I'm probably bipolar, to be honest with you. <laughs> sometimes I'm hyper and sometimes I'm very mellow. Yellow, mellow. Mellow, yellow. And 7-Up, too. Because why not? But anyway, we've got some tag team action coming up. This game just got updated, so hopefully things are better. Io Shirai with a big scoop slam to start the match. Whiffs a kick and slams Humberto again. We've got a whole clash here today. Not just monsters, but foreigners as well. Of course, Io Shirai coming from Japan and Humberto Carrillo from someplace in Latin America. We're not really sure. We didn't check his gimmick card. Oh, flippy kick. Stuns him. Stomps on him while he's down. Tag to Sin Cara, the masked man. Nobody knows who he is. Botch! We're not sure. Sin Cara could be somebody. Could be anybody. We don't know. Tag to Taya Valkyrie. And she's going to take over right here. Oh, dancing around, forearm to the face. You don't want to mess with these ladies. Unless your name is Sin Cara, who just did. Nice drop kick there by one half of the Lucho Latinos. And a, another beautiful dropkick by Sin Cara. This is a very interesting matchup. Oh my god, is Taya Valkyrie too strong for Sin Cara? She is a large woman. We can't judge somebody 
by the gender. You can only judge them by their wrestling skill. Ooh, slap to the titty. She's stunned by that. Behind, roll up. Referee with only a one count. I hope he's counting in Spanish so that Sin Cara understands. No hablo espanol. Humberto from behind. Oh, what a gruesome backdrop there. Turning Valkyrie, uh, turning Valkyrie upside down and a tag to Io Shirai, the princess of the sky, queen of the moon salt. And we could see some aerial assault here later tonight if she feels like flying. Just stepped out of the way of the drop kick. Kick. Strike battle. Who's it gonna be? Oh boy. Shoots the arm. Trying to rip her damn shoulder out of the socket there. Humberto uh, missing a drop kick again. Izuka! In Japanese, that means I'm a lady. I'm pretty sure. I'm a translator. We're gonna need a translator in this match. Oh boy. I'm not, does Taya Valkyrie speak Norwegian? What's the language of the Vikings? I don't know. From behind, stabs him in the leg, tag to Taya. Look at this, they're working together. Oh my God, double flip! From the top, crashing down off the ropes, arm whip. Sin Cara manages to recover from that huge flippy doodle. The Spanish fly, literally a Spanish fly, because he's Spanish. Nice tilt to whirl head scissors there. Off the ropes, awkward collision. Nothing to follow up. Taya Valkyrie really needs a win here. I gotta go check my stat card, because I left the rankings in another room. Ia Shirai, now legal. Not age-wise, but wrestling-wise, in this tag match. In the corner. Fighting out of it, angle slam! You learned that from the Olympic gold medalist who broke his neck, Kurt Angle. And now, Io Shirai is fighting back against Team Lucha Latino. Oh my God, he stole the finisher. Why is her finisher a German suplex? I could have sworn it was a moonsault. I don't know. Fire Pro decided she's got a new finisher today. Kick to the gut. Oh, elbow to the back of the head. She's going to need a concussion check, referee, please. Huge spine buster. Elbows to the face. Drop kick to the knee. And she was unable to recover there. She caused too much of her stamina to be drained. Forearms again. Taya Valkyrie and Humberto putting on a show here to start the day. And Ia Shirai gonna break up the submission hold. Knees to the back. Kick to the dome piece. And another tag to the masked man. Tag team action at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! She okay? You have to have energy. It's a wrestling show. Look at the flipping maneuvers. Io Shirai, so impressive every week. She's always like the show stealer and the undercard here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh my God! That's a tornado DDT. That was twisting him inside out and uh, backbreaker whirly bird. Io Shirai off the ropes. Full speed ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Buckle your seatbelts! She just got suplexed out of the damn arena. How do you say, are you okay in Japanese? I actually don't know. Like non-canon, I don't know how to say that. I only know a few Japanese terms. German on the outside. Taya Valkyrie's gonna have to get Senkara inside. Why is the referee not counting? What is he doing? Uh-oh, look at Humberto! Whoa! He just kicked her across the damn sky! Io Shirai, no longer a princess. And a face buster to Sin Cara on the outside. And this is, match is turning into chaos. We've got no control. The referee's not doing his job. Somebody do something. Angle slams her out of the ring. 
Valkyrie gets knocked down. Io Shirai back, only to get slammed all the way across. Legal tag, another. Everybody's in the middle, scrambling. Scrambled eggs. Uh-oh, spin kick. Another one. Taya Valkyrie. Oh, just got turned inside out and turned around with the cover, but Io Shirai breaks it up just in time. Another angle slam and a Pele kick. You can't do that. That's somebody else's move. Humberto's stealing people's moves. Spanish fly didn't seem to be effective. This Pokemon needs better training. Oh my gosh. Taya Valkyrie in a dangerous position in the corner. Oh, what the hell? Botch! That was an actual botch. Rope break. Botch! I said both! I botched the botch! And Taya Valkyrie now looking for something. Getting pinned into the rope. Referee cares about the ropes, but he didn't care when they were wrestling outside. Okay. Question mark. One. Two. Uh, wait a minute. Isn't this the match that got like a 30 minute time limit thing? Didn't it get expired last week and this is why we're doing this? I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Everybody's in the ring. It's because they're too fast. There's too much speed. Nobody can control the moonsault. She hits it. Is it enough? No, Sin Cara there just in time to make sure that he's still alive. And Humberto Carrillo just broke the rules and broke her leg and he gets the submission victory there. She had hit her finisher. It was pretty much over. But that's how tag team matches go. If your partner's in the right place, they can save your ass. And uh, I gotta go get the rankings. Because I'm an idiot. Lucha Latinos. Latinos. Uh, one. I'll be right back. All right, all right. Okay, so, um, Lucha, that means Taya lost, so she's one and two. And Io Shirai's on that team. So she's two and two. And Carrillo and Sin Cara are both three and one. All right. Next. The rankings matter. I promise. Oh! <gasps> I never ran so fast in my life. I felt like Io Shirai in that match just now. I was running to the other room. And I was like, oh, I forgot my notes, man. Uh, Adam Page, back from injury. If you haven't been paying attention, Adam Page got dramatically injured, critically injured. I think he broke his neck. He was out for like a month. And now he has to return and hopefully get a win. Oh, geez. Not that quickly, man. Relax. Uh, he's facing a very dangerous opponent, though. Low key, who might be capable of injuring Adam Page once again. We'll see how this one goes. This is the undercard. I do this uh, once a week on Wednesdays, around noon time. EST. 
And usually these shows only go for about an hour. And this is the only time I can do it. Fall away slam by Hangman Page off the ropes, big elbow. Dodges the slap, snap mare, dragging him out to the center, dancing around. Low key, very dangerous with the kicks and the submission skills. Adam Page has something to prove here. He kind of needs this win to even be relevant for the rest of the season, I would say, because he, if you're out for a month, that's four matches you didn't win or four matches you didn't lose. So, I mean, in the losing spectrum, he's not doing that bad, but his, his ranking is just so low because he hasn't been here on the show. That's how it works. But we do have a heavyweight championship match later tonight with Earthquake versus Andre the Giant in the Monsters Clash match. And it's going to be pretty crazy. I think Earthquake might actually have a chance later tonight. I really do. Because Earthquake's been on a rampage. It's going to be like Godzilla versus King Kong. Andre the Giant's undefeated. Nine count from the referee. These boys got to get back in the ring. And Adam Page just breaks the count. It is a Japanese 20 count. Oh! Reverse tombstone with the sharpshooter or the shooting star. I know what it's called. Botch! Commentary failure. He's grabbing his penis. Is that legal? What the fuck? Excuse? What just happened? Hit him with the sexual assault move. <laughs> Why does Adam Page have that move? Sometimes desperate measures have to happen, I guess. <laughs> I'm baffled by that. Groggy dropkick knocks him down from behind. Uh-oh. Tombstone! He stoned him. He might be stoned right now. We don't have a policy. We didn't check his wellness. He's upside down. Getting kicked in the gut. Merciless Adam Page. Showing people why they call him the hangman by literally hanging a man. And a backslide. I don't know what happened there. He might have been in the ropes. Or he just slipped out before the one. Stop to the back. This one could be over. Two. Oh, Adam Page remains in this fight. And he desperately needs to win here. Oh, slips out. Elbow to the back. Elbow to his face. And a super duper plex on to the outside as the fans are cheering. This match has gone about 10 minutes. In Japanese time. Or wherever Loki's from. It's a different time zone. 450. Not sure if he got all that one. It looks like he might have missed, but he did hit that move. Oh boy, power bomb! Floats over for a cover, but his own feet were in the ropes, and that still counts as a rope break. DDT by a hangman page here. And the hangman needs to prove that he knows how to run into a ref bump! We've had a penis grab and a ref bump in this return match by a hangman page. Schoolboy. Oh, Buster just kicked out. Only at one. Hangman Page. I was trying to say that he needs to prove that AEW is the elite brand right now, but no brands matter here in the undercard. Everybody's fighting for themselves. Schoolboy Buster again. One, two. Oh! Shoulder up at the last moment. Hangman Page. Might be getting desperate! Or delusional. Or injured again. I'm not sure. But he needs this time to recover. Smart move by Hangman Page. 
Taking in a breather. Oh, just got kicked right in the midsection. Watch out for the feet! And he hits it! And he's trying to tear him in half with the Dragon Sleeper! And Hangman Page had no choice but to tap out. I wonder if his neck is still injured or if he just couldn't breathe there. But unfortunately, Loki gets the win. Jesus, dude. We've had a wrestler quit before. I don't, I don't know if after that, if Hangman Page is going to quit or not. Because he just dropped down to 0 and 3. He actually doesn't. I guess I never realized that he didn't win before he got injured. And that means he's, I believe, the only person on my roster without a win. Yep. That's that's not good. Anyway, next up we have unkillable Matt Hardy versus very likable Steven Richards. In a match of who's got the better social media status? Is it Matt Hardy's Twitter or Steven Richards' Instagram? Now that's a battle. That's a real wrestling match right there, ladies and gentlemen, because if you don't follow wrestling, Matt Hardy is a YouTube star right now. He's making really interesting, creative content. Some of it is wrestling related and some of it's very confusing to watch, but I enjoy it. And Stephen Richards has an Instagram full of cats. And everybody loves cats, unless you like dogs, which in that case, you have to ask yourself, what are you really doing with your life? Face first into the turnbuckle and a quick cover desperation there. Going for a pin too early in the match. Switch in music. Hits the finisher right out of the gate. And Matt Hardy returns the favor with a bulldog there. This match is going at 125% speed right now. Literally. This one's going to be fast and brutal. Both of these guys known for their toughness. They just don't quit. They might be small in terms of uh, size, but in terms of heart, they're big. Oh, kicked them right in the mush. Steven Richards, no fucks given, shoots the leg and shoot on him. Only a one count there. Knees to the gut. Steven Richards dragging Matt Hardy out to the center of the ring where he can inflict more damage, but whiffs the kick there and hits the suplex. Going for a clothesline. Ducks under against the ropes. Matt Hardy with a shoulder. They call him broken, but I think his goal here is to break Steven Richards in half. Drop. Cole Nelson. Referee checking. Matt Hardy says never die. And another super kick. Oh my god, he's gonna do back to back kicks to the face. And Matt Hardy, all oh, three in a row. No way, not the deadly four super kicks in a row. Why would you not pin him? What are you doing? How is he alive? What is happening right now? What? No, what? No. Not another one. Oh! It's got to be over. What? Matt Hardy is literally unkillable. He won't stop standing up. He keeps getting kicked in the face. I don't think we've had this many finishers in a row. That's it. That's the Stevie kick. Once you get kicked in the face, you're supposed to be down for three. But Matt Hardy somehow got right back up. Is he just not selling the match? I don't I don't know. He's going off script. Referee, do something. <laughs> Face buster. Xbox style. Climbing up high. Drops the club on him. Oh, low blow. And Matt Hardy. 
still going off script and just punching him in the back of the head. He's fighting for his life. Fighting for his wife. Drop down. What's Rebby doing right now? That's the real question. Elbow to the back of the head. Russian leg sweep. Even your mom knows that move. And a big kick. Not a super though. Matt Hardy, who got a foot to his chin, is somehow still aware and alert enough to wrestle. In the corner we go. Steven Richards says no. From behind. Atomic drop. Get nuclear. Things are heating up here in this match. Face first goes Stephen Richards and again with the punches repeatedly to the back of the skull and referee has to watch out for that. I'm not sure on the rules but we don't want people getting injured even if it is a physical competition here in the undercard. We don't want another hangman page situation where somebody's going to be out for a month. Face buster. Stephen Richards, what's he gonna do? I don't know. But Matt Hardy is just continuously using his fists as weapons, beating him like Tyson Fury in that boxing event that happened recently that was trending and I didn't care about. Uh oh. Out of the corner with the power room cover! And that's enough to defeat Matt Hardy, who is probably s still staggered by all those super kicks earlier in the match as Steven Richards rightfully gets the win. So let's just check really quickly. Richards is four and one which means he's getting up there. He might be a number one contender next week. Depending on how the rest of the matches go. Matt Hardy falls to three and two. Oh boy. John Moxley versus Elias in a who likes to wear dark colors more often match. This will be interesting. Elias is all personality, and John Moxley is all business. This one is going to be interesting. Elias has something to prove here. A lot of people say, you know, you just run around playing songs all day with your guitar, and you're not really wrestling that much. And John Moxley, this is his life. This is all he does is wrestle. And he's getting slammed right off the bat. Fist to the face. This is turning into a brawl early. Knee to the gut. Elias swinging for the fences. Sports metaphors. Big running knee. Rope break from the ref. Ref's been pretty fair, I would say, so far. And John Moxley wants a sugar mama. And he ain't going to find one here tonight. Unless somebody in our audience is interested in being Renee. <laughs> the slap to the back. Looking at each other right in the face as they deliver these punches. Both men down. Trying to see which one is the better striker. This is just a fight. And Moxley wouldn't have it any other way. He's unstable. He likes the pain, I think. Neck breaker there. Oh, directly to the mouth. Blocks the elbow. Smart move. By the very hot... AEW Superstar. 
who's here in the undercard to make this show the best it can be and Elias gets out of that pin. Oh boy, my favorite move, the Canadian backbreaker. That move is so dull, it might have just put John Moxley to sleep. Snap. Drags him out. Moxley needs to be a top superstar. He believes in himself. He's got 100% confidence. And a nice shoulder breaker there by Elias, who hooks the leg, but it's not enough to win the match yet. I kind of booked Moxley strong, and then he just... I don't know, I felt like he let us down earlier in the season, and Paradigm Shift may have changed my opinion! Oh! Elias kicks out of another finisher. Roll up! Is that enough? No. Moxley getting upset now that these moves aren't putting away his opponent. Going for another cover. And this one isn't enough either. Elias, too tough. Maybe he's more than just a gimmick. Maybe he's more than just a couple strings and chords. He's got a song to play for Moxley. Off the ropes, big drop kick. Both men down for a couple seconds, stunned. The paradigm shift could change this match, could change the shift of momentum at any moment. Whirlybird, Dr. Bomb, not enough to get Elias the victory that he so desperately wants. And back to the punching. Close line, returns the favor. Elias going for that toe hacker. Got interrupted. And a quick cover. Confusing Moxley as he busts him open. We've got blood. We had a botch, we had a ref bump. And now in this match, we've got some blood. Elias, not sure if he's injured or if it's just an unfortunate cut above the eye, but it doesn't matter. John Moxley ain't gonna stop. He's like a shark in the water and he sees blood. Elias pushes him off. Can Elias even see where he is right now? Or is he just seeing red? Big elbow to the back of Moxley. Cover, shoots the leg. One, two. Oh no, not enough. Mama Mia. <laughs> Going for that discus clothesline, just misses it by an inch. Moxley up top. He's unstable with his signature elbow. He hits it, and he's just going to keep stomping on the bloody face of Elias, who hits the drift away. Is that enough? Oh, kicking out of each other's finishers officially now. And another. Elias had no other choice, but Moxley got up first. Signature finisher, not enough to take down Moxley. These guys just won't stop. Elias is bleeding. He might be injured. What? Only one man leaves. This is turning into a war. Push him off. Elias with a running knee. Moxley right back to his feet. Throws him out of the ring. Where is he going? He's got to He's got a kendo stick. Is that legal? Referee. Look for a DQ. I, I think he got a strike in there. I'm not sure why the referee let that happen, but it doesn't matter. DDT in the center. This match continues 
no matter what, how much is that going to play into the ending? Off the ropes, runs into the high legs, high knees of Elias. Oh, awkward collision. And Elias is still busted open, draining blood. He's got to start feeling weak here. Dr. Bomb under the ropes. Moxley just reached out to save himself. The kendo stick. Still out there. One, two. Oh. Ref says he got the shoulder up. Almost 20 minutes. And these guys are looking gassed. They've spent every last drop of blood they have, literally. Oh! Moxley signa uh, signaling for his signature here. But he didn't hit it. He had something else in mind, maybe. Just to... Looks like, looks like he's just desperately trying anything, and that's enough. He just hit him with a bunch of random moves, and maybe that uh, that little taunt at the end was to throw Elias off. Maybe he was expecting the paradigm shift or something. Either way, Moxley gets the win in a bloody battle. Save. Mm. Where's Elias, dude? Why is this not in order? Why are my rankings not in order by alphabet? Okay. Kelly, Kelly. Oh, boy. Dream uh, Team Expose versus Dream Expose. <laughs> uh, this will be interesting. Velveteen, Dream, and Funaki like are not performing well uh funaki i'm not really surprised because he's more of a commentator right but velveteen dream is like an up-and-coming superstar that should be getting pushed to the moon but i think wh whoever booked this show is a big fan of kelly kelly and i don't know why seems like she's on like, Team Expose is on our show every week, it feels like. I'm, I'm sure they earn that spot based on skill and nothing else. Hi. Kelly, Kelly, the seductress. Axe kick right off the bat to start the match, Velveteen Dream. Gonna drive the elbow into her pretty little face. They may be strippers, but you know what? They're also wrestlers, and they're a great tag team. Actually, I think they're like our second highest ranked tag team besides the champions, Mick Foley and Devon. Into the drop toe hold, Velveteen Dream. Just gonna stand there and watch them tag each other because he's that confident. And he doesn't care. Oh, he got stopped. Double legs. Layla now looking for something. Kicks down Funaki, the number one SmackDown announcer. That's how he says it. Is he really number one, though? Layla says no. She goes for the toe hold. A very interesting tag match again on the undercard. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're booked in a match, you got to try to win. No excuses. You can't say, oh, Funaki's a black belt. You just got to go in there and try your best. That's what Kelly Kelly is doing right now. Elbow to the back. Knee to the gut. Tag to the dream. D-R-E-A-M. At least he knows how to spell. Right? 
Double clothesline squishing Kelly Kelly. Five minutes gone. Five minutes gone. Thank you, random announcer lady. Cover in the center and Layla interestingly just let that happen. Maybe she was, you know, she was like, hey, listen, if we lose, we're still doing pretty good in the rankings. Maybe she just doesn't want to put that much effort into the match because she spent so much time on her makeup. Layla, very attractive. That's the point I'm trying to make. Back suplex there. Hooks the leg. Only a one count. Velveteen Dream will not stop. Just because you're a girl. Everything is equal here on the undercard. STF submission hold. And Funaki lets it happen. What is going on with these teams? Lacks lacking uh, communication on both sides. High kick. Not the official Layla kick, but still effective. The Layla kick, similar to the famous Molina kick. <laughs> Everything's canon here in the undercard. It's all connected, I promise. I did this all on purpose. <laughs> oh, jeez. Suplex there in the corner. That's like such a deep inside joke. Uh, I wonder if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Face first into the turnbuckle. And the corner is not where you want to be right now against Team Expose. They might look pretty, but they've got dangerous intentions. Tag to Dream. Just steps out of the way. I dare everybody to Google Funaki right now. What is the first thing that comes up when you Google Funaki? I'm actually interested. I want to know. Because I think it, it might mean something in Japanese as well. Besides so just being a name. Funaki. Uh, oh, no, he is the first result. It's, it's like a picture of him in his gi. Remember that time he did martial arts? And this ain't a Sudoku puzzle. But Funaki looks confused. Velveteen Dream just there at the last second. Layla might be in trouble here. Kelly Kelly, staying out of it, playing fair, elbows by Layla. London Bridge is falling down. Uh-oh, look at the speed and the intensity, too. Close line, running all over him and running him over. Dragon screw just to get her off. Creating separation is key. Double legs. One to the foot, one to the face. Sweeping Funaki inside out, and now Kelly Kelly and Velveteen Dream are in the ring, and Kelly Kelly with the double elbow. They like doing that, I'm not sure why, but hey, if it works, don't stop! There's one! Now it's Layla's turn to inflict some damage on Velveteen Dream with the neck breaker. One, two. Oh, look at that! She was she stopped Funaki, but Dream kicked out at the last second. D R E A slap. Funaki goes low. What is Dream doing? Huge clothesline. I don't know if I've ever seen him do that from the corner before, but okay. There's one elbow. Will she go for the other one, or is she gassed out? It looks like she's too tired. And Funaki has to capitalize. There's the Layla kick. He might be calling it quits. Ladies and gentlemen, cover. Oh, I thought that was it. High kick. Clothesline. Big moves by everybody. Trying to put on a show here tonight. Slap to the face. <laughs> we do our big spots and then 
Layla just screws it all up with a simple slap. Why would you do this to me, Layla? The elbows don't stop dropping. Funaki tags in Dream again, gets kicked down. Barbie, Kelly Kelly with the kick to the back of the head and Funaki stops the pin by just kicking somebody in the face. Call me up, Vince. Do we have stocks here in the undercard? I'm not sure. If we do, I hope they're not plummeting. What? Layla is dancing right in the face of Velveteen Dream. <laughs> I'm now. What is going on? We got a wild show tonight. <laughs> Famous, sir. I. I don't know how to explain what just happened. Cross body and he misses. Botch. And that's it. The botch cost him the match. He missed the cross body. And she's still dancing. What? Layla, stop. Stop. It's not time for that. You'd strip after the match is over. Oh, boy. <laughs> At least she's staying in character, I guess. They're doing pretty good in the rankings, but unfortunately, Dream and Funaki are not, as I think they both are on the bottom. But they might have another chance to, uh, you know, get some wins back. They're both one and four. Maybe they'll face each other at one point. That, that would uh, probably even things out. But we've got... A tournament week rematch in Shayna Baszler versus Neville. Hi. Starting off the match with the MMA skills, Shayna Baszler so dangerous. I think this is a really interesting match because we know that Neville has won this uh, face-off before, but there's no tournament here. They are completely fresh. And I think that might change things. That might even things out for Shayna Baszler because I feel like that's the only edge that Neville might have over her is endurance. When you're talking about skill, I think they're actually really evenly matched. Masters of Submission. Neville. Straight to the face with the European uppercuts. Off the ropes. Looking for the drop kick and he hits it. Shayna Baszler going back to basics with the headlock. Wrestling 101. Blocks the kick. Shoots the leg. And just rains down the strikes against the ropes. And Neville's busted open already. Spear misses from the ground upside down. Wow. The strength of Neville showing there. Ducks under the leg. Guillotine in the center of the ring. Trying to choke Neville out early. Squeeze the rest of the blood. Oh, and she's raking the injury. Hurricanrana. Going up top, 450 misses. Shayna Baszler just got out of the way at the last second. Now she's she sees the injury and she's focusing it. She's going to work the face and head an injury of the bloody Neville. One of those punches cut him open. And you hate to see it if you're a fan of Neville, a.k.a. Pac. Five minutes gone. Flips him upside down. Shayna Baszler fixes her tights. And hooks the leg. Looking for a tap out here. Referee's going to let it go. Rope to corner. Neville gets kicked off like a football. And if you're Shayna Baszler, you got to watch out. 
when Neville goes up high, Frankensteiner from behind. He's got those aerial moves that are so, so, so dangerous. And again with the German from the ground, but the ropes were there to save Shayna just for a moment. Up high, this is what I'm talking about. I don't even know what that was, but it almost beat her. Oh, and she didn't block that kick. Rings a stretch. Going for the finisher early. Neville knows he's in trouble because he can feel the blood dripping down his face. And Shayna Baszler hooks the leg. Submission for submission, and I guess that's what we should have expected from these two. Uh-oh. Suicide dive! What a spot! And it completely crashes. On the outside, back in, fists, uppercuts, forearms, super kick. Inside out, and Shayna Baszler was under the ropes there. Oh, uh, here it goes. Not sure what was supposed to happen there, but Shayna Baszler back to the routine of squeezing the blood. Oh, and she goes for the MMA leg hold. Maybe just trying anything to see if it'll make Neville tap out at this point. Yeah. Yep, and he does. Shayna Baszler conquers Neville in a very impressive victory. Easy 10 minute win. We promote women here on the show. And Shayna Baszler is now our top ranked female at five and one. That's insane. That's actually, that's an incredible record. At episode seven, if you're five and one, which means she didn't compete like for one week um, because of booking reasons, but that that's pretty incredible when you think about it. And Neville, Now four and three, so he's still kind of even. It's not terrible. And hopefully there's enough matches or enough weeks left for him to uh, get back on top where he needs to be. Next we have Shawn Michaels and Orange Cassidy. I believe these guys were in, uh, facing each other in a tag match last week. So this is their first ever one-on-one -on -one face off. It's going to be interesting. Shawn Michaels. One of the most legendary wrestling performers of all time versus one of the most unorthodox performers I've ever seen. Orange, freshly squeezed Cassidy. Sometimes he wears sunglasses and sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he wrestles with his hands in his pockets and sometimes Shawn Michaels likes to chop his crotch. One half of DX, of course. Low drop kick. Trying to just feel each other out, see who's stronger. Looks like they're even on strength. Shawn Michaels isn't really famous for that. But he's famous for this. Crossface right off. Starting the match. Shawn Michaels with a hip toss. And an elbow. And another elbow. And another crossface. Rest in peace. You know who I'm talking about. Redacted. <laughs> How does Shawn Michaels deal with Orange Cassidy is the real question. And it looks like he's doing just fine. Not going to give him any hints or suggestions. Enziguri. This is all Michaels, ladies and gentlemen. HBK is taking this match in control. Ankle lock. WrestleMania Hollywood. <laughs> it's come it's happening again, by the way. Uh next year's WrestleMania will be in LA. And I guess that gives me an excuse to go to LA for the first time in my life. Suplex. Michaels escapes. And now Cassidy just trying to do anything to 
regain some kind of control in this match that's been all HBK. Not exactly a squash match, but Cassidy is in big trouble. One, two, three, four. How many punches were in the corner? He's gonna get freshly squeezed. And Shawn Michaels is beating Orange Cassidy to a pulp. There's a pun there. Drop kick. HBK sings his own theme song. And Orange Cassidy doesn't even know where he is right now. Flap. Strike battle. Shawn Michaels gets the edge again. Cassidy strikes back. And now he's just trying to do anything he can. Judo. One. That was just to slow down Michaels. Uh-oh. That might be all she wrote. Switch it, music hooks the leg. Good night. No. Last second kick out by Orange Cassidy. Who just got his chin kicked. <laughs> Sharpshooter. Now we actually have a sharpshooter. Orange Cassidy screwed himself. Orange screwdriver? I, I don't know. I'll figure that out. <laughs> I'll figure out a pun for that one. Uh-oh. Orange Cassidy's injured. And Shawn Michaels sees that and takes advantage as he should. The veteran HBK 100% in control of this match. And Orange Cassidy with a DDT, but it's not enough. One. What is Michaels gonna do? Plancha over the ropes. Crowd loves to see them fight. Six, seven, Suck eight, it! Nine. Waiting for the last second to roll back in. Orange Cassidy. Getting squished. Getting squeezed. Oh, headbutt. That was brutal. But it won't be enough, I don't think. Not yet. Suck it! Two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. Michaels has to get back in the ring before 20. 12. 12. Oh, throws him into the barricade. Will that be long enough? 15, 16, 17. Orange Cassidy just in time. Survives the count, but will he survive Shawn Michaels? It's not looking good. Crossbody, that might be enough. Oh no. Orange Cassidy in trouble here for the first time in the season of the undercard. Maybe we, uh, I didn't really consider that Shawn Michaels, I mean, I know he's one of the best of all time, but I thought Orange Cassidy would put up more of a fight than this. Super kick. Straight to the mush. Uno, dos. How the heck did he kick out of that? Maybe there's more to Orange Cassidy than I thought. Maybe he's got something up his sleeve or in his pocket. John Michaels looking for something else here. Uh-oh, Huracarana. Cassidy regaining his strength. Hop over. Yeah. Manhattan drop. Stuns him and misses the follow-up. Looking for that big forearm smash. Michaels, some of his moves are so iconic, and I think Orange Cassidy had him scouted. There's a cross body in the ropes. Hip toss has to create some separation here. Orange Cassidy gets suplex right in the center. Shawn Michaels picks him back up. The veteran needs another victory and not enough. Not yet. Somehow Orange Cassidy keeps slipping out of these pinfalls. Saito suplex teardrop style from Shawn Michaels. The boyhood dream come true. Wanted to be a wrestler as a kid. 
started uh, as a tag team wrestler and ended up becoming one of the most legendary performers of all time. Some of the greatest wrestling matches in history. Yes. Super kick! And this might be one of them! It's over! Wins lunch. <laughs> HBK. I just have them under orange in the rankings, which is pretty interesting. I mean, it's not really interesting. That's his name, but everybody else has like their full name, and he's just orange. Uh, Earthquake versus. Andre the Giant in the undercard heavyweight championship match that everybody's been waiting for. The monsters are about to clash. This is the final match of episode 7. And I think this is going to be the showstopper. Oh my god, look at the size of these titans. Earthquake. 350 pounds. Andre the Giant, almost 500 pounds. Andre the Giant, the largest athlete the world's ever seen. And Earthquake, almost equal in size, if possible. Earthquake, basically a junior sumo wrestler. And he's wearing some special attire here tonight, as this is his first championship opportunity here in the undercard. What a performer Earthquake's been. But Andre the Giant is the unstoppable force. He's the immovable object. Nobody's beaten Andre, and that's why he's been the champion two seasons in a row. Fair and square. Just conquers everybody. Just It's pure size and strength. Nobody can stop Andre, and this, this is why. He's... Whipping a 300 pound man around like it's nothing. Can't imagine how strong Andre actually is. We resurrected him from the dead and it might have been a mistake. Because he's rampaging through small cities like Frankenstein. Oh, Jesus. One strike and this is over. One big slam and Earthquake is going to be in trouble. Face meets knee, and the knee will win, ladies and gentlemen. Earthquake is just trying to look for an opportunity. It's still early. He still has a chance. Uh-oh. He's going to be dizzy after that, though. Around the world we go. Taking him for a tour. He can't even knock down Andre, and... This is a big man. One, two. Referee, that was a little bit fast. Is the referee in with Andre? I don't think so. What is he doing? He's squeezing the blood out of Earthquake. I'm not sure how that busted him open. Maybe that's an internal injury. Uh-oh. Earthquake getting crushed. Oh, my God. Not again. Andre. Oh, no. Oh, big elbow! This could be over! Oh, the monster's clash is not going as intended. It's all Andre as usual. Every man that steps up falls to the devastating power of Andre the Giant. A two-time champion in both seasons. And this is why. It's just completely dominant. Nobody knows what to do against this guy. He's too big. He's too strong. And even if you do something, he's too damn big. You can't like keep him down for three seconds. Leg drop by Earthquake. Trying to get some offense here in the match. Has no other choice but to fight on pure instinct. Earthquake getting turned around. Clubbing blow. Andre just takes it to the face, hits a clothesline, goes for a cover. Referee with a fast two and a half. 2.9. Oh, God. 
chops to the face like the great Kali. And this man is just as big. Andre the Giant proving endlessly that he could be champion forever. I can't believe that this has happened to Earthquake, but wait a minute. Andre looked a little bit gassed. If Earthquake can just survive for a little bit longer, he might tire out Andre. Ooh, duck underneath, club from behind, and this is what Earthquake needs. Leg drop, come on, Earthquake. I don't want to be biased, but I just want to see somebody beat Andre just once. It's never happened. I don't even know who could do it. And Earthquake's our best chance right now. Abdominal stretch. The referee says not enough. Headbutt. Earthquake's using his head as a weapon. That's how desperate he is to win this. He wants to be a champion. He wants to be the first man in history to beat Andre here on the undercard. He's bleeding. Still. But he's hitting those leg drops. So at least he's doing something to Andre. And Andre just forcing his power upon Earthquake. The monsters are clashing and Tokyo's in trouble. Sidewalk slam. God, this is like the ending of a Jurassic Park movie with two of the dinosaurs ripping each other apart. Russian leg sweep. Even your mom knows how to do that move. It's so routine. But it might just work. Andre the Giant saying, hey, bring it. Still alive. Uh-oh. Squeezing the life out of Earthquake. And it just knocks him down again. Earthquake on the ground. Standing up. Still willing to fight. Butterfly suplex to a 350-pound man. Jesus! <laughs> Largest clothesline I've ever seen! Oh no! He was trying to powerbomb Andre or something and he just couldn't lift the 500 pound giant. Is anyone strong enough to even pick up Andre? I think Goldberg might have like once, but it just. Even Goldberg couldn't beat Andre the giant, so that should tell you something. Bleeding on the outside, Tombstone drives his skull into the concrete. And the title cannot change via DQ or via countout. I don't even think we're getting a countout here because it's a title match. Andre the Giant just staring him down in the face, squeezing him on the outside right in front of the crowd, just proving to the world that he deserves to be the champion of the undercard. Oh. And you can see the effect this match is having on both men now as they're getting tired, getting groggy, getting gassed. It takes a lot of effort to move around a body that large for both men. Andre the Giant a legend in the business and in this season so far. Earthquake, running a comeback, big splash. Will it be enough? Here he goes. Oh, he's getting hyped up. No way, critical. Oh, we can't. What the fuck just happened? He just, he just knocked out Andre the Giant. Did it? Is he? Does that count? Can you win via KO? I don't even know. Is he the champion? What just happened? Pog! Holy shit! He knocked out Andre with the earthquake! He did it! The streak is over! I'm like, what? I don't e I didn't even realize that Andre was out. I can't believe that just happened. The monsters clash and Earthquake, ladies and gentlemen, just made history. I didn't expect that at all.
I'm shocked. I'm Michael Cole right now. My eyes are wide. And my mouth is agape. Two of the undercard beat three. <laughs> I don't know what happened. There was a glitch there in the text, but... Earthquake. New champion. Holy shit. Earthquake! Oh my god! Can... My question, I guess right now my biggest question is, how long can Earthquake hold on to that championship? Because you gotta bet that Andre is not too pleased when he's... When Andre wakes up, he's gonna be pissed! Oh no! Could we see a rematch in the future? Anything is possible. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining me on this weekly adventure. Uh, and Earthquake just won. <laughs> Andre's streak is over. Earthquake did it. It wasn't looking good until the last couple seconds of the match. Uh, wow. Let me make sure it's saved. All right. Wow. Okay. Uh, for everybody that's watching, thank you again. Uh, I, Undercard will return next week with episode eight. And I will return in maybe like an hour or two, question mark, uh, for Two Point Hospital, which is a hospital simulation tycoon game. That's really fun. Uh, so I'll see you guys there.